Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'm currently on vacation right now, but I wanted to stop in and update everyone on some of the things that have come out in the past week in the iOS 15 jailbreak scene. Now, if you missed my last jailbreak update video, in that some major things were released, like the first iOS 15 exploit, uh, that's most likely going to lead to a jailbreak in the very near future. And since then, a lot of progress has been made and a lot of other updates have come out too. Starting off, it's been a ton of fun to see a bunch of devs in the community pulling together resources and using multiple vulnerabilities and exploits to test on a ton of different devices, making progress towards one goal, the end user jailbreak. Really, if you can take one thing away from this video is iOS 15 to iOS 15.1.1 is the sweet spot to be. And iOS 15.4, you want to avoid that at all costs. So uh, starting off, the major news this week was an iOS 15.3.1 proof of concept exploit was released. So that means it's potentially possible that we're going to get an iOS 15.3.1 jailbreak and that that firmware is going to be supported along with iOS 15 to 15.1.1. Now there are some catches that we'll talk about later in this video, but all in all, that is awesome news for everyone out there stuck on a higher version of iOS 15 than 15.1.1. Really, it sounds like iOS 15.2 and above is going to be a lot harder to jailbreak going forward. So until we know more, just stay on iOS 15.1.1 or below. Coolstar noted this when they gave this update a few days ago. Some good news here, but he updated us further, which I'll talk about later in this video. But basically, in this tweet, the good news is A9 devices to A11 devices, so that would be the iPhone 6S to the iPhone 8 and iPhone 10, are perfectly fine to jailbreak on iOS 15 to 15.1.1. A12 and above, so the iPhone 11 and newer, is going to need a few more things, uh, but it sounds like it's still possible with those devices. Now, on iOS 15.2 and above, even more is needed uh, for every device, and even more is needed for A12 and above. So it just gets crazier and crazier. I'm sorry that things are so insanely particular these days, but that's just the nature of jailbreaking in 2022. Also, before we get any further, I did want to say Future Restore has been updated to work on iOS 15 with the latest devices, the delay OTA profile, uh, that method's also been fixed too. I actually just updated my iPhone XS to 15.1 from iOS 14.8, so I can confirm that that works. Well, it did work. The delayed signing window for iOS 15.1 just closed, but you can still go to iOS 15.2, which is better than, say, iOS 15.4. And sadly, I did not save my blobs for my iPhone 13 to do a video on that or to test that process uh, with Future Restore, but uh, there's tons of tutorials and information out there if you are looking to do that process. I will, however, link a guide to the delayed OTA profile. I found an awesome one on this site here, and uh, this is the one that I followed, and it worked perfectly. Now things are getting super confusing on if your device is going to be supported or not. Uh, the awesome thing is GeoSnow released this tester tool where you can test your device to see if it's vulnerable in its current state. And uh, I think that's an awesome uh, end user tool that can tell you, yes, your device is going to be supported or no, it might not be supported on day one. Uh, that doesn't mean it's not ever going to be supported, but um, still, all in all, a pretty sweet tool to be released. I'll uh, link to that GitHub download page. The full IPA is compiled. You just have to sideload it with Alt Store uh, if you want to try it out yourself. And finally, just a few hours ago, Coolstar updated us once again. They said Taurine 15, which may have or may not officially be the name of the iOS 15 jailbreak, will support A8 to A11 devices on all iOS 15 versions. That's crazy. So the new exploit has already been implemented into their jailbreak. A11 is the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10. However, A12 devices and above, so the iPhone XS and newer, will support iOS 15 to 15.1.1 only. So if you have a newer device, definitely stay on the lower firmwares. If you have an older device, uh, newer firmwares, 
will be supported. All in all, this is incredible. Like not only are we getting a jailbreak for iOS 15 to 15.1.1 for all devices, if you have an older device, even more firmwares are supported. Also, you can check which processor you have by doing a quick Google search. If it's not covered in this video, basically the iPhone 13 has the A15, 12 is A14, 11 is A13, XS is A12, the 10 and the 8 have an A11 processor, the 7 is A10, 6S, A9, 6, A8, and the iPads, uh, just do a quick Google search on those. It's Whew, so where does this leave us? Honestly, the jailbreak could drop any moment now. Uh, official device support has yet to be confirmed, but the above or the previous could lead you to some close assumptions there. It's best to stay on iOS 15.1.1 or below, and at all costs, avoid iOS 15.4 for now. Downgrade if you can. Now, Coolstar has been great to update us along the way as progress is being made, but we've yet to hear anything at all from Pwn I wonder if he has something in store for us or not. But those are the latest updates for now. I'll keep a close eye on things as this week progresses because uh, we could see some major things coming out. But thanks guys for stopping by. I'll catch you real soon in the next one.